It is peak zucchini season, which means it's also peak zucchini fritter season. So if you're wondering why this recipe should capture your imagination, it's because it's an absolute free for all. It's free from gluten, dairy, egg. The ingredients you're looking for are zucchini, Spanish onion, chickpeas, and baking powder. Five ingredients, kid-friendly, flavorful. Let's get to it. And you're gonna add in the salt. Squish that through. You wanna start breaking the cell structure of that zucchini down a little bit and releasing the liquid, because that's gonna help everything bind. There we go. Now we're gonna leave that for five to 10 minutes, however long you can wait. Now this is something that you can either use a sieve to pass the chickpea flour in, or you can use your hands, <laughs> get your kids involved if you want to, just to try and get rid of all those clumps. If you are vegan or if you've got plant-based friends, you might have heard of something called aquafaba, which is the water in the can of the chickpeas. And when you whip it, it acts like egg whites. So in this case, when you wet the chickpea flour, it binds like egg mite. Very cool. And then we mix. I'd suggest doing this with one hand so you can always keep the other one nice and clean and dry if you need anything else. And the final step is adding your baking powder. <laughs> Mix that in as well. Heat a pan. Add two good splashes of olive oil. You're shallow frying here. And then when the oil is shimmering, that's when we can start to fry. That's about the size that I like my fritters, but you can always make them a little bit smaller as well and then arrange them in a clockwise motion so you remember which one to flip first. You can do four or five at a time with these. We're ready to flip and you can go one-handed if you like to live dangerously, but I just like my support spoon. <laughs> so depending on size, I mean, these can make between 12 to 16 fritters and then finish with a sprinkle of salt flakes Mm. It's moist, it's unctuous, it's got the crunch on the outside. Once you make these fritters in this way, you'll never go back to any other recipe. I've got another batch to flip, I've got breakfast to serve. I hope you enjoy this recipe and I look forward to seeing what you do with it. Over and out!